I know someone who was able to get a job in a smaller community in Alberta, uh, in, um, I think it was British Columbia from outside of Canada. Get on the express entry. Go and open an app, start an application on the express entry. welcome back to my channel if you see my face for the first time my name is obehi i'm a social worker and i live here in regina saskatchewan canada on my channel i share some lifestyle content i share some vlogs and majorly what i do here is share information on how foreign trained social workers can migrate to canada seamlessly so today i'm just going to be answering this one question that someone sent to me now i'm answering this question because um i feel like it's a topic on its own so i'm just going to answer the question and i hope it gives people like an idea of what to do so the question is um if one qualifies as a newly qualified social worker in the uk and completes an asye can this count as one year work experience that can be used to secure a role in Canada? In case you're not familiar with that, UK social workers, after they get qualified as a social worker, the first year on the job is regarded as your ASYE year. So that's the assisted and supported year of employment. So that first year, you don't get as many caseload, you don't get a lot of job, you are learning on the job. They consider you as a new social worker, so you are kind of learning on the job you don't have a lot of caseload. I think the caseload is capped at maybe 18 or 15 or something like that. No, no, no. I think the caseload is capped at five or eight, something of that nature. Yes, you have a very small quantity of um, caseload because that year they are just teaching you the ropes of the job. So you are kind of training on the job. That one year, that ASYE year can be used as your experience here in Canada. When I left the UK, I did not do ASYE. Mela, I finished, I came to Canada and I was able to use my practicum as my experience, leverage it as an experience to get a job in Canada. So yes, your ASYE can be used, can be leveraged as your work experience for you to get a job here in Canada. It also says, she also went on to say, also, can you direct or give some examples of some LAs, that's local authorities, I guess, in Canada that is in the UK. I, I don't know what you mean by LA's. LA's. I'm thinking it's councils in Canada that are in the UK for prospective applicants to check for roles in some provinces. Please prioritize Saskatchewan for an example. So if you are not um, registered as a social worker within a province and you're trying to find a job, the best thing for you to do is go to the ministry, the the government of whatever province that is. So you said use Saskatchewan as an, Saskatchewan as an example. So if you go to the government of Saskatchewan web, website, you see jobs for social workers. I would suggest you put in social services when you're looking for a job. So in the search, put government of Saskatchewan and then the kind of job, social services, so that you can see different kind of social services job. It might be addictions counselor, it might be child protection worker, it might be child and youth worker, it might be community interventionist. You know, they're just different roles that you will find. If you are looking for jobs in like Manitoba, in um, Alberta, in um, Nova Scotia, go to the government's website and look for jobs in social services in that government, like in the ministry. It's easier to get jobs in the ministry. Also, if you kind of put social work, social services job in Canada, you should be able to see different job titles and roles. I would suggest that you write a good cover letter. In the cover letter, states exactly what your situation is if you're outside of canada and you need a work visa to be able to come in state there that you are outside of canada and that you need a work visa to come in and the only thing that you are needing from them is the job offer that job offer will enable you to apply for a job and then come into canada another thing i would suggest that you guys should do is get on the express entry go and open an app start an application on the express entry make sure you do an application do an application and you don't never know you really never can tell you might get picked from the pool or or something so open a express entry application and put do everything just put that in if you've not written ielts ielts try and write it i know today's video i don't really have much but i just wanted to answer this question 
um, for this person. So if you're looking for a job, look at smaller areas, smaller communities. Um, there are some rural areas that are actually looking for for people to come and work for them. So like if you go to, if you look at um, Newfoundland and Labrador, they are looking for social workers. Um, Nova Scotia, they are looking for social workers. British Columbia have some small, small cities, small remote communities that are looking for social workers. So that's where you should focus on. Focus on those areas because basically that's where you get more opportunity. Because people that are already in Canada don't want to go to those remote areas. So that's where you start the chance. I know someone who was able to get a job in a smaller community now built in, um, I think it was British Columbia from outside of Canada. But what he did was after applying to CSW, he applied straight to the British Columbia Board of Social Workers and he got registered. So he was able to put it in his um, cover letter that he already he's already registered with the British Columbia um he was able to put it in his um in his cover letter that he's already registered with his British Columbia Board of Social Workers and he was able to get a job. So yeah, you never can tell. Just do what you, it is you need to do. Do your path. What are the things you need to do? First off, write a good resume. Second, write a good cover letter. Thirdly, get an app. Look for an app that will allow you to have a Canadian number and put that number on your resume and just keep applying. You can also open a skilled worker application on the IRCC website. Do that. You never can tell. Something good might come out of it. And that is all that you can do for right now. Your ASYA year, it actually counts to your work experience. Your practicum counts to your work experience. You can leverage those experiences you have and use them in getting a job here in Canada. We cannot underestimate the God factor. So pray to God. Tell God what you want. And you're a Muslim, you're a Christian. Just pray. Tell God what you want. Apply. Keep applying. Don't be depressed. Don't feel stressed out. Just keep applying. You really never can tell. Something good might come out of it. I wish you guys the best as you do that. I hope this was able to answer your question. Thank you for this question. And yeah, if you have any questions, please do well to leave them in the comment section. I will go there and answer them. Or if you want me to do it as a video, you can state it there that over here, I would like you to talk about this as a video and I will do that. And I just want to thank you guys for always tuning in. And um, thank you for always supporting the channel. Um, yeah, there is really not much for today. I would end this video here. And until we see again in my next one, have a nice day, guys. Bye.